Ah, poco que Cada quien hace lo que quiera, ¿no? Así es, así es. No tiene por el talento que tiene. Pero esta gente sí. el tiempo en la gelba. Uh -huh, uh -huh. ¿Cuánto le falta? ¿Aló? 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 Ahí está conectando todo ya. Hey guys, good evening. This is Alejandro Narbona on behalf of Inglés Corporativo. How are you doing today? All good? Nice. Thank you very much. Come on, guys. So, um, as you know, it's a pleasure having you here. Thank you for being on time. Let me go ahead and take attendance as I have to. So, Ana Maria Mazoquín Rivera. Not present. Andrea del Carmen Martinez Aragón. Present. Okay, thank you very much. Javier Rodrigo Ayala Córdoba. Not present. Daniel Edgardo Canizales Ventura. Present. Mm, nice. Thank you very much. Gladys Idalia Meléndez Hernández. Gladys, not here. Aldo Sade Castro Pleites. Not here. Eric Arnaldo Celada Ayala. Not here either. Ernesto Antonio Castillo Campos. Not here. Amy Melissa Rosa Palacios. Present. Thank you. David Orlando Nerio. Not present. Marcela Beatriz López Pira. Not present. Roxana Domitilia, Domitilia Ríos de Quiñones. Not here. Juan Carlos García Ines. Present. Oh, there you are, JC. Beatriz Adriana Martínez Marino. Not present. Abner Alexis Martínez Rivas. Present. There you are. Thank you. Morena Guadalupe Milara Cruz. Present. Ah, oh, there you are. Mm -hmm. Alison Isabel Ayala Alfaro. Present. Thank you. Cele Carmina Pineda Ábalos. No. Karen Elin García Benítez. Not present. And Sarah Elizabeth Ruiz Ortiz. Present. All right. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. All righty. So, guys, let's get it started. Thank you very much. Um, did you receive your email and the message via WhatsApp? Yes. Yes, I did. Okay. Very good. Did, yeah, I did. Did anybody didn't receive it? ¿Alguien no los recibió? No? All right. So, uh, remember, guys, don't do it yet. We're going to do it when? On Friday. 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 On Friday. Friday. That's right. And it's going to be at what time? Mm, at 8. At 9. Almost. Almost. Ah, okay. You almost nine. get it. You almost have it, Karen. So, yes. Yeah, so it is going to be at 9. That's right. Ah, it's okay. going to be at 9. Because... Maybe join later. Okay, I mean, as long as as long as you do, no worries whatsoever. So don't do it now. Let's go ahead and start, guys. What was uh, yesterday's and the day before yesterday's topic? Do you guys remember? 
Yes. Definite pronoun. Definite pronoun D or the or the. Uh huh. And the article A and N. And no article. Uh huh. And no article. Zero article. Correct. So when do we use zero article? With plural, countable or uncountable nouns. Correct. With plural, countable or uncountable nouns. Now, yeah. when do we use the articles A and N? With specific, general and singular. General and singular, that's right. When do we use the article A? And we use with general. consonant sounds. With consonant sound and uh, article N. With vowel sounds. Vowels. With vowel with sounds, vowel that's sound. right. Now, when do we use the article D? With specific, with specific, yeah. specific and, and plural. Singular and plural. Uh-huh, specific and, and everything. 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 It can be singular, it can be plural. plural. Countable, mm -hmm. uncountable, countable, uncountable. Mm -hmm. Everything. That's right. All right, guys. So um, these are the exercises that we did yesterday. I still have it on my on, on a Word document. I'm gonna send it via chat. If you want, you can copy them. These are the ones that we created, and you know you you paste them. Uh, that are there. There they are. These are the ones that you guys created yesterday. Okay. Very good. So, do you guys have any questions about the articles? Just so we can wrap it up. Nobody? Okay. So, let me go ahead and choose uh, volunteers. Abner, thank you for raising your hand. Give me an example with the article A. A um, maybe I like uh, apple. Uh, say it again. I like uh, apple. Hmm. The structure overall is fine, but not the use of A. Ah, okay, maybe she wants to buy a dog. A dog, very good. Okay. Nice, another volunteer, please. Eric. Eric, thank you very much. Give me an example with Anne. Anne. Mm -hmm. I, I would like to eat an apple. <laughs> nice. Nice. Very, <laughs> very, you know, very basic one. Both examples, but yes, they are valid. And uh, what about the article V for singular? For singular. Uh, let's say the... The Two. dog is crossing Wait. the... Choose a victim. Uh, Sara. Sarita, where are you at? There you are, Sara. Example with E. E. Singular. Singular. I like the pizza hat. Mm. Mm. Mm -mm. Come on, give it another try. No worries, it's okay to make mistakes. Just give it another try. Like, um, I don't know. I don't have imagination in this moment. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, I'm going to try. I like the picture of my graduation. Nice, nice fix. Guys, it doesn't matter if you don't make it on the first try, but as long as you keep on trying. Great, thank you, Sarah. Volunteer, please. Man, I love this thing. I love it so Daniel, much. teacher. There you go, Daniel. Give me an example with D in plural. Okay. I played so in, in plural. Yes. Okay. In plural. Love, love is, love is in the air. Mm, with D, article V in plural. In plural, the children are eating bananas. What children? Huh? What, what children? children? Eating bananas. The children are eating bananas. It's in plural. 
Yes, but I don't know what children. Los niños estaban comiendo bananas. ¿Cuál es bon? What uh -huh. children? Eh, ¿Cómo podría ser? Come on, boy, bananas. you can do this. Bananas. The children or, or, or the children uh, or, or my house are eating bananas. There you go, Daniel. Great. Okay. Excellent. Excellent. And uh, I need a volunteer in order. Oh, Marcela, thank you very much for raising your hand. Give me an example with zero article, please. Uh, elephants are gray. <laughs> there you go. Excellent. Thank you. Uh, you just came. So guys, um, as the moral of the story, number one, if I am asking you if you have questions and you do, for God's sake, tell me and I'll try to help you. All right. And then what you have been able to prove is that even though you were making mistakes at the beginning, you were able to fix it. So I wanted to keep that idea with you. It doesn't matter if you make mistakes, as long as you keep on trying until you get it right. Are we clear on that one? Yes. Yay, super excited. Mm -hmm. Okay, so let's go, <laughs> let's go ahead and work uh, with today's uh, topic, guys. And, oops, give me a second, wrong book. And let's go ahead and read with me, please. I will be able to. I will be able, I will to. Be able, I will to. Be able to. Describe specific influences of technology in the e-commerce customer experience of the future. Describe specific influences of technology in the e-commerce experience of the future. Very good. Um, I need a volunteer to read this, please. Me, Morena. Go ahead, More. Describing specific influences, the technology in the e-commerce customers' experiences of the future. Nice. All right. So, guys, do you think the development of virtual reality will play an important role in the future for e-commerce? Let's go ahead and repeat after me, please. Do you think the development of virtual reality... Will play an important role. Will play an important role in the future for e-commerce. In the future for e-commerce. Great. So, what is virtual reality, guys? Mm -hmm. It's when you use some some dispositive in your head and your eyes, and you see a thing that is not there, but you think that are there. <laughs> that is there. Okay. Do you guys agree with that definition? Yes. Yeah. 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 Okay, very good. Thank you for that. Uh, Roxana, I need one more. Uh, simulate experience. Mm -hmm. It's a simulate experience for me. Okay, so mm -hmm. let, let's keep it with that. Uh, something that you think it's there, but it's not there, and you use technology to leave that experience. Okay, now, let's, why am I asking you this? Because I want you to have some sort of a context for the following questions, okay? So here we have, is the development of virtual reality important, guys, in e-commerce? Yeah, I think it is. Yes. Mm -hmm. yes. Why? Why do you think it is? Maybe. Because they have the facility to show a uh, to show people mm -hmm. uh, how the items are and the features okay. also. All right. Maybe and also yes. can, can uh, improve the experience if, because if it's something that you want to touch, the touch or, or see like closer, mm -hmm. maybe virtual reality, reality can help. Okay. I like it. 
what kind of virtual reality have you seen nowadays? Mm. On the Should video games? Games. <laughs> games, yeah. Okay, with games, that's right. Uh, supposedly uh, you were, you were visited some... Visited museum, museum. That happened here during the pandemic, <clears throat> right? I don't know if it was yeah. Muna that they offer like a virtual tour of their of their museum. Uh, oh, yeah. 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 I don't know if it was Muna, but I, I found something about it. Much museum, uh, the old, the other part. Okay. What else? What about in sales, in e-commerce? Real, real estate. Mm. It shows uh, virtual reality for see the houses. For seeing the houses, okay. Have you ever used, uh, nice, Karen. Have you ever used the little uh, doll or the little guy from Google Maps? Yes. No. That you drag, you drop it, and you can see pictures on the computer? Like yes, you were around like 360. Aha, uh -huh, 360. Also, I don't know about you, but. Uh, it's street view. Street view, know, exactly. Street view. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Oh, yes, like with the satellite. That's right. Yes, like. And um, one of my favorite uh, shoe brands is Vans. I have been wearing Vans since I was like 13 years old. Uh, so uh, their website, I think it's virtual reality because you can see the shoe and you can actually see 360. You can zoom mm -hmm. so you can see like the texture. So when someone is coming from the States, I let them know, hey, bring me these shoes. And I send them the link but I already know what to expect. I get no surprises because I can see it. Very, very detailed. Mm. Any other example that you might know about virtual reality? We know uh, virtual tours, houses and museums. Uh -huh, Andrea? For example, in architecture, we developed something that we call 3D models. Mm -hmm. And is the space uh, model in 3D? <laughs> the space, <laughs> okay. uh, and we can see how it's going to how is going to be when it's uh, finished? Uh -huh. Okay, so how is going to look like? Write it down. How it's, we can see how it's going to look like. How it's going to look like. There you go. Thank you very much. Okay, guys, so we're going to be working a little bit um, on this. But before that, I wanted to practice something here here it is so let's go ahead and write with me real quick guys hey have you been to the new store in town hey have you been to the new store in town oh yes it's awesome the augmented really reality the augmented really no give me a second Really tour the staff prepared. The augmented, I think that is reality tour the staff prepared was incredible. So let me do it again because it's all messed up. Oh yes, it's awesome. The augmented reality tour the staff prepared was incredible. Oh yes, yes, incredible. Yes, it was. You just had to scan the codes on the CDs to get the information of the musician, pictures, and a streaming from their la latest live concert. <gasps> Go. Yes. Yes. Latest live concert. Now remember that we have live and we have live. Two different pronunciations for the same word. One is en vivo, live. And the other live, be be the verb. So careful with this one. Live. Context live. right here. Why do you think I didn't stop, guys, like in the other ones? Because no period is shown. There's no period. Commas and mm -hmm. commas. It is a whole, it is a whole, it's just one idea. 
So I need a volunteer to read this one in particular. Someone who likes challenges. Gladys, thank you for raising your hand. Go ahead. Uh, yes, yes, it was that. Is that? Yeah. Okay. And yes, Alison, it was. Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, you just had to scan the codes on this, on the CDs to get the information of the musician, pictures, and streaming from the latest live concert. Nice, Gladys. Good job. And now, Alison, does she raised her hand? Yes, it was. You just had to scan the codes on the CDs to get the information on the of the musician, pictures, and streaming from their latest live concert. Live concert. Live. Okay, it's great. Thank you very much. Now, let me ask you something, guys. Why do you think that this does not have... Or let's go ahead and identify this. CDs. Is this a mistake? Do we need to write down CDs or is it correct without the apostrophe? What do you think? It's correct. It is correct. So with, without apostrophe. I haven't seen it without this yes, apostrophe. Yes, because it's a plural of CD and CDs with apostrophe, I guess, mm -hmm. is when you're going to say that something is owner of, of a thing, of, of a thing. Aha, uh -huh, that's right, the possessive. Yes, now, possessive. Good, good, good. One of the real reason, guys, is that whenever you're talking, what is the, what is the meaning of CDs? Compact, 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 disc. Disc. Compact, compact disc that's right so whenever you are using this type of thing like an abbreviation right you do not use apostrophe okay so um, the moral of the story is don't feed your children with chocolate okay so let's go ahead and continue. Sorry, my, my girl gi so, gave chocolate to my dog and my dog is really crazy. I don't, don't worry, know what. Don't worry, don't worry. Sorry. It's fine. I just want people to wake up. Okay, so um, how do you mm -hmm. say, um, well, or DJ, for example, I think it's like this, DJs. Mm -hmm. What is another one? Another abbreviation like this. Write it down and look for more examples. Like this. this. Is... this. Oh. Uh -huh. Say it, please. These awards, like these awards, like VMAs. I'm like not this? sure. Uh huh. Okay. There are music video awards. There you go. That's right. So uh, keep it in mind, guys. And uh, if I can see any detail that is useful for you, then I'm going to let you know. And the last one, yeah, but the best part were the promotional codes for free album downloads. Yeah, but the best, yeah, part, but the best part were the promotional codes for free album downloads. Okay, so the next thing that we're going to do right here is the following, guys. Read with me, please. Check the technology that you believe will have an important role in improving customers' experience at retail stores. Nice. Volunteer to read it, please. Eric. Go, Eric. Check the technology that you believe will have an important role in improving customers' experience at the retail stores. Thank you very much. Now, which one, guys, do you think? it's gonna be important at a retail store, okay? Now, I'm not talking about e-commerce right now. I'm talking about you going. Uh, what is the meaning of uh, augmented? Augmented? Enhanced, expanded. Oh. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's right. So do you think 3D printing is going to be important in yeah. retail stores? 
they could be if you order something today print and you can go in um, and pick them up oh okay like, um, like for example they don't have it on stock or in stock mm -hmm. i'm sorry in stock is that they have it um in the warehouse for example there are items available and how do you say when there's no item the opposite of in stock out of stock out, out of stock out of stock that's right stock. now what do you think about virtual reality is that going to be good at retail stores maybe okay why for example if they want to see how um, they can combine clothes for example they could do it uh, at the same time for example uh, shared with different pants or mm -hmm. stuff like that interesting very interesting point of view and what about 3d body scanners for clothing design yes yes why it could be easier for people to buy okay it's easier for people to buy okay and it can be like pers personalized the clothing personalized clothing all right Nice, I like the idea. And what about self-serve kiosks for restaurants? Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. And augmented reality? Yeah. What is your definition of augmented reality, guys? Mm. For example, when you are trying to buy a new car mm -hmm. and you go to the uh, uh, mm -hmm. I can't remember the name of the, the donde tiene donde el distribuidor de la marca. The distributor. Okay, and uh, you want to to personalize your 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 car with some items. You have to you want to tune your car with some items. You can uh, make it through the reality augmented reality, and also you can, you will know how much is going to be the price. Okay, but you have a, you have an idea. Um, I am going to show you something, but really quick, guys, because, you know, I'm not supposed to do it. But anyways, here. Real, augmenting reality. This is augmented reality. The cell phone. Just for you to have an idea. I guess that um, architects use it. I used to do it when I worked in a company selling solar panels. So they used to have a system like this. This is augmented reality, like this. And this is the difference between virtual reality and augmented reality. I can see the screen. You can't see? Mm, no, we I can't. can't. Oh, no. What, what about I now? I don't understand. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. yes. Yeah. Yes. Ah, okay. Nice. Thank you. Thank you for letting me know. So, again, oh. this is augmented reality. Yeah. Right? Look. And this is augmented reality versus virtual reality. Mm-hmm. Did you ever watch uh, Iron Man? Yes. Yep. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah, he has an amazing uh, augmented reality uh, computer, which I think it might be like that in the future, perhaps. So mm -hmm. let's go ahead and, and close it. This is what we're going to do right now, guys. Um, I'm going to split the class. How many people do I have? Okay. We're going to be work, splitting the class in five, in, group, in five groups. Okay. What you're going to do is the following. At 9, you're going to have a presentation of the topic that you're going to be assigned. So, for example, if you have uh, augmented reality, you're going to do your, your research. I'm going to give you 30 minutes. 
and at nine, you're going to present it, okay? After you present, what does it consist, the uses nowadays, the uses in the future, that's something that, that I wanna get. There's gonna be a definition, uses in the present, uses in the future, and impact in e-commerce. Those are the, the things that I, I really need to know about it. Now, after this presentation, you're gonna have another one. We're gonna, we're gonna have a double presentation today. After 9 p.m., you're gonna be creating your own project on how to use whatever topic you got in the future. It's a little bit difficult, right? Yeah. Too much. Nah, come on, you can do this. <laughs> So let, let's go ahead and pretend, guys, that you got, let's see, that one of you got 3D printing, okay? You're gonna give me a definition of 3D printing, what 3D printing is, the uses in the present, uses you think is, are gonna have oh. in the future, and the impact in e-commerce. Then for the second part of your presentation, which is from 9 to 9.45 or 9.10 or 9.30, I'm sorry, you're going to create your own 3D printing project. For example, um, animals with, uh, with no legs, right? That's a project that actually they print, like the peak, they print the legs, so the animals can have a better life. You're gonna create a project and you will actually present it. Is that clear? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yes. So what are you going to do in part one from here to nine? Create a uh, presentation. Create uh -huh. a presentation. The definition, uses in the present, in the future, and the impact in e-commerce. Mm -hmm. That's right. The definition, uses in the present, uses in the future, and the impact on e-commerce. And in the second part, so you have the idea, the second part of your of your presentation, you will create your own project, your own 3D printing project. So guys, today we want to present to you a project, a 3D printing project where we are going to be printing shoes for when the customer arrives to the store. If we don't have it available, we give the person a 3D printing model so he can try it on or she can try it on and he can order. So we can ship it to their house. I don't know. So you're gonna make it up, but that's gonna be for the second part. Now, these are the groups, Ernesto, Karen, Roxana, and Sara. You have 3D printing. Don't write down the, 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 the members of the group. That's gonna be whenever you accept the invite. So Ernesto, Karen, Roxana, and Sara, um, 3D printing. Abner, Daniel, Gladys. I repeat, Abner, Daniel, Gladys, virtual reality. Virtual reality. Andrea, Celia, Marcela. You're gonna have 3D body scanners. It can be, uh, by the way, here in the book you have it as clothing design. You can do the research about it, but whenever it's your turn, it can be a 3D body scanner for whatever you want for airport, you know, prodigies, etc. Aldo, Eric, Juan, Carlos, you're gonna have self-serve kiosks. Self-serve kiosks. What? And then we got Allison, Amy, and Morena, augmented reality. So, Ernesto, Karen, Roxana, and Sara, what is your topic? 3D printer. 3D printing. Thank you. Printing. Mm -hmm. Abner, Daniel, Gladys. Virtual reality. There you go. Andrea, Celia, Marcela. Body scanners. 3D body scanner. 3D body scanners. Aldo, Eric, Juan Carlos. Self serve Caius. Alison, Melina, Morena. Melina. Oigalo. Alison, me, Amy, and Morena. Augmented reality. All right, go ahead and, and accept the invite, guys. I'm going to be visiting you, and I'm going to see you at 
nine. So we can take attendance and start with the presentation. No more than three minutes, please. No more than three minutes. Three minutes. Three minutes per presentation, no more than that. Hello, Roxana, can you hear me? All right, let me just go ahead and check the groups and see how they're doing. Puede ser, en vez de necesitar un corazón real. And you, you don't need a real heart to <laughs> that trans Nice change, nice change. Who else, who else is with us, teacher? Um, let me see. Roxana, but for some reason she hasn't joined and she didn't answer, but she's going to be with you. Remember, uh, no more than a three-minute presentation. Go to the point. All right. Okay. Any so, questions? Uh, no, so far no. No. Uh, so, far, so, so the we have to work in the presentation, guys. Uh -huh. uh, the definition. What would be the definition of the three pin, the three-dimensional printing? Mm -hmm. 3D right. printer is a print that use uh, plastic. That, that uses? That uses plastic uh, to create uh, not an image in paper. Not an image. In, in an image. A teacher, ¿cómo puede decir? En cambio, en vez, o algo así? In change? Uh, no, no, no. Yeah. Instead. <laughs> Instead, uh, dead print. Uh, if you want a glass that you can use and drink, if you want yes. a heart, plastic, plastic uh -huh. or a plastic heart, heart, plastic heart, to, to transplantation, mm, uh, to transplant, yeah. to transplant. All right, uh, keep on doing yeah. that, guys. Remember to do your research. I mean, what you're doing, Sarah, is great. You're giving your idea, and then also do research as a group all right okay all right thank okay, you the... how are you doing guys hi teacher hi teacher hey hey what's up um uh, guys any questions so far on what you're doing i'm looking for information okay remember you have time mm -hmm. remember what, you have what time, time? until nine and it has so to be nine. a three minute presentation but well explained okay okay teacher. so get the information prepare the presentation and practice it time yourself okay teacher keep it simple okay. guys don't 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 add a lot of information keep it simple so a five-year-old could understand if you have any question you call me okay okay teacher thank you thank you, thank you. Teacher. Hello, girls. How are you doing? Do uh, you're mute. Yes. No, I'm not. I'm not muted. No, Marcela, I didn't. I oh, mute. okay. So, guys, um, remember, you have until nine, so keep track of time. And uh, keep it simple. Do it like a five-year-old would understand it with easy terms. And uh, make sure that you practice. Practice your presentation because it must take three minutes. Top. All right. Okay. Yeah. Good, 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 good. Thank you, guys. Uh, Any questions? No? If you have any questions, you hit the Ask or Help button and I'll be here. No. Thank you. Okay. Well, just when with uh, three or four. Uh, uh, slide we can talk a little bit and complete the three minutes presentation mm -hmm. good idea yeah. guys. keep it simple like a five for like a five-year-old kid could understand your presentation okay mm -hmm. yeah. and you, you have until nine remember that yes. yeah okay good 
So if we if we uh, finish before the the hour, we can uh, we can practice. To, yeah, we yeah. Can practice. Time yourselves with your cell phones. All right, let's go ahead and pretend that we are we are presenting right now. Bam, bam, bam. You say this, then it's your turn. Teamwork. Okay. Okay. All right. Thank mm -hmm. you, guys. Thank you. Hello. Hello. Doing some research. Hello. Yes. Okay, great. Uh, just a couple of reminders, girls. Uh, remember, you have until nine. Recommendation, keep it simple because it, la it must last no more than three minutes. And make sure you practice before you present. All right? Okay. Keep it like... How many time uh, we have for the presentation? No more than three minutes. Okay. Mm -hmm. So you have to keep it simple. It is blah, blah, blah. We think it is being the, being used right now in this and these areas. We think that it will be uh, available in the future in this and this. So try to keep it as simple as you can and practice before it, nine. If you finish before, okay. Timer on the phone. Go. Let's practice. Is Amy here? Uh, Are you here? Uh, Amy? I don't okay. know. Has she been here? No. Nope. Since the group nope. started? All right. No. Nope. I'm going to contact her. All right, girls. In the meantime, let's go ahead and continue, please. Any question? Okay. Hit the ask for help button. Okay. Thank you. You're Thank welcome. you. I already have the definition and I'm looking for the uses in the present. Okay. And so, if Amy uh, doesn't participate, may I, I, I you make do the, 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 the both, the last two. Okay. Um, you can look for, for for one of them right now, just in case she's not coming. <coughs> okay. Definition of e-commerce. E-commerce. Let me talk. It, tell it, you. It, it may be like when when we use the internet, right? When we yeah. use the internet to buy a product or a service. All right. Okay. In that case, let's see. Um, I'm going to look in Google. Maybe I can find yeah. an article related. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm looking because it's, it's a difficult, it's a difficult uh, topic. Subject, yeah. Uh -huh. okay. I have to, I have to look everything that that you were talking about because I don't understand. Yeah, I don't know about this topic. But we need like a printer, right? Three D. Hi. Hey, Sarah. What's up? <laughs> yeah. I, I don't know. I I hate my. Ethernet or my Wi-Fi. I your don't internet. know. Internet. Nah, no worries. I came here because I, I can't remember who uh, who were your classmates. So I came here to. Ah, uh, is the Roxana, Ernesto, 
en ti, I don't know. I, rem, I can remember the name. Okay, yeah. do, me a, do, me a, do me a favor. I need to check something because I don't know if I'm going to keep you in that group. Let, give me a second. I'll be back. No worry. Oh, Take don't go time. anywhere. Um, um, what are hey, we girl. right now? Hey, girls. I found hey, girls. it. Hey. Oh, sorry to interrupt. Are you still, are you just the two of you? Yes. Okay. Give me a second. I'm going to add someone to the group, okay? Okay. Okay. Well, as I was saying, I found the future of augmented reality. Okay. Okay, Sarah. Hi, hi, hi. So um, I'm gonna send you with someone else, all right? Because they are one person short, so you're gonna be working with uh, with Allison, okay? Okay, don't worry. All right, thank, thank you. you. And I'm going to let the others know that you won't be working with them anymore. Yes. Thank you. You get the invite? Hey, what's up? <laughs> hey, um, I just want to inform something. Do me a favor. Stop the share. Uh -huh, okay. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Um, Sarah is not going to be with you anymore. She's going to be with another group because another group is one person short. So that's why I decided to change it. Okay. So, uh, so you can remove her from your plans and keep it between the three of you. Okay. Any questions so far? We have until what time? Until nine. Okay. There is a method or a methodology. I think it's a methodology. The KISS method. Keep it short and simple. Uh -huh. so your topic, what is your topic? 3D printing? Uh, 3D printing. 3D printing. Uh -huh, 3D printing. 3D printing for kids. Enter. <laughs> ah, that's nice. Yeah, come uh, on. Dog store, dog store. That's yeah. Uh -huh. Okay, rock it. Thank you, teacher. You're, welcome. Your You're welcome. Hey guys, how you doing? Hey, teacher. Hey, still doing research? Estoy terminando casi. Almost finishing. Are you still doing the research or preparing the presentation? Prepare the presentation. Okay. Now, um, I gave this advice to another group. If you're having issues finding information or you have too much information, then go ahead and look for your topic for kids. What's your topic? Virtual reality. Virtual, virtual reality. Virtual reality, explain for kids. Enter. Virtual reality, examples nowadays. Virtual reality in the future. Enter. And you go with those examples, right? So try to keep it okay. simple, guys, uh, because we have to go into 12 minutes. Okay, teacher. All right. Thank you, guys. Okay. Mm. It's supposed that we have to present in three minutes. Three minutes? I think we... I think it's three... Yeah, I think so. But should we try again in cronometramos el tiempo? We could do that. We could do that. Okay. Um, do you want to put the chronometer or I put can you? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Loading. Let me search. Tell me when when I have to start. Okay. One, two, three, go. Okay, so I'm going to talk about 3D body scanners. Uh, the definition is a uh, technology that that produces a 3D model through scanning. An individual has to extend in front of the scanner's view and uh, while this is going to capture his body image and instantly it's going to produce a 
a series of 3D images. Um, this series uh, uses light sensors to produce the image and uh, these images are capturing three, six, 360 uh, degrees uh, in a short period of time along with body measure, measurements and human body surface. Okay, I'm gonna continue mm -hmm. with the uses in present. Mm -hmm. And we find that this technology has regularly been applied in the following areas. Um, adaptive performance sport work, that is clothing, um, sport clothing design. The other one is garment design. It's related with, I mean, create a small three-dimensional sculpture about humans uh, or 3D selfies. The next one that is 3D printed figurines, it's related to the same. Create like uh, small pieces that are related or that are compared to represent humans. Uh, and it's related to also 3D. So, how are you doing, guys? Working on Working on it. We're working on it. Okay. Have you ever been to McDonald's? Yep. Yes. I think they have those. Yep. They yes. have. I was saying something about that. Mm -hmm. Okay. Good. Thank you. Any question? You let me know. Okay. Perfect. Thank you. Yes, it is. Yes. Um, about the mental reality and uses and uses in the future. Mm -hmm. uh, it's a, actually the augmented reality. Reality, it's a complement in our in our reality, and um, we have augmented information. We could be in a real time seeing another people and get access to the profile. Uh, object holograms is another point. We could see in virtual objects that are within environment and person holograms. It could be possible when we can to interact with another people holograms. We can interact. Be careful with can and to. Modal okay. verbs don't have to. Okay. Thanks. You're welcome. I have the uses in the present. Here, for example, the marketing departments have already begun to adapt AR technology to campaigns aimed at tech savvy consumers. Tech savvy. Sorry. Tech savvy. Those are um, tech savvy customers. A tech savvy person is a person yeah. who knows a lot uh, about technology. Perhaps not like fully, but they do good with technology. Tech savvy. Okay, thank you. Tech You're savvy. Welcome. Okay, also the manufacturers of accessories such as watches or glasses use AR to allow customers to try on different styles to see how the product looks. We have also that the AR, it's used in mobile apps and games to inspire inspiring effect. And um, many. How are you doing, guys? Hi, teacher. <laughs> are you okay? Yes. yes. How are you doing with the with the with the process of the presentation? We almost finished. Oh, okay. All right. Remember, try to keep it simple. Any questions so far? Mm, no. Thank you. No. Okay.